Good morning. Sure. This coffee will warm me up. The coffee will warm me up. <clears throat> Brr. I just finished my breakfast and it's almost 10 o'clock. What's wrong with you? You say, how come you're, you're finishing breakfast so late? Well, I had a mission this morning, so I was busy. I wanted to get um, to the Portuguese bakery on the other side of town um, because the sweet bread that they sell and make Hi bunnies. I've got my Easter screensaver going by and of course I'm distracted by all the cute Easter images that I'm seeing. Um, yes, the I go to the Azores um, Portuguese Bakery <coughs> every Easter Sunday morning and get a loaf of sweet uh, Oh, I read what it was called. Falanos, Falamos, something like that. It's a sweet bread that they uh, make and sell. It's um, bread, braided, right, uh, with an egg in the middle. It's, it's not a big loaf, it's a small loaf. And, um, I have this uh, at Easter. It's a it's coffee. It goes with coffee, coffee and sweet bread. It's really nice. Do you think this coffee is uh, cool enough for me to drink? No, I don't think so. Oh, I love the Ukrainian eggs. Oh, they're beautiful. Yes, screens, distracting, distracting screens. Yeah, so I, I, I went there this morning. I got there at, I think it was 8.30 I was there. And usually in the past, when I've gone later, um, it's been impossible to move, right? And you can't find a parking spot. Well, no problem. Because I was there at 8.30 and nobody else was, I just pulled into a parking spot an actual parking dot the street. I'm actually parking on the, in the store parking lot. And there were only, you know, the clerks in the store and a few customers. So it was kind of nice. It was kind of nice. My hair. I have a mop on my head. So it was really easy to browse, you know, you just look at what you want and there's nobody that's reaching for the same thing as you you know I think I'll do this again I've had my glasses fog up as I do that and I was also looking for some finishing touches for my Easter bags and um, I found them. Yay! My son-in-law um, has recently discovered that if he has, um, but he seems to be lactose intolerant or milk. I don't know if it's lactose intolerant, but he, he seems to be um, allergic to milk, and he has skin problems if he eats cheese, anything with milk in it. Anyway. Um, so, you know, I put chocolates in his bag and everything, and I go, okay, that's not very good. You put an Easter bunny, a chocolate Easter bunny in his bag, it's not very good. He's not going to be able to eat all this stuff. So I found some sugar-coated almonds, you know, those, those white and pink and green and those almonds that are, all that's on them is a coating of white, and there's no milk in it. I looked. I had somebody else read the label for me because it's in green on plastic, clear plastic. So that was kind of hard for me to read. 
Yeah, so I did have something in there that is not uh, going to be, that he's not going to be allergic to. This is good. So that was nice. Everybody got a t-shirt. My morning class is done. Finished that off yesterday. It's not late either. Not late. So I was able to watch whatever was on. Don't know what I watched. <clears throat> um, I uh, suddenly I seem to be swollen this morning because my. Usually when it's winter, the rings go on easily. They at least go on easily. They may be hard to get off, but they go on easily. They were hard to get on this morning. Like, what's going on here? And I had just um, put some, um, I noticed that my legs were dry. I thought you had a shower last night. Why didn't you put cream on your legs? And um, so I, I took this one body shop cream that someone had gifted me, given me for Christmas, and it smells really good, it's that old English smell, or I don't know, rose, I don't know what it is, anyway, and I've used it the odd time, so I put it all over my legs to get them, you know, not so dry and cracked looking. And then I later on I put my rings on and I'm thinking maybe this cream maybe I'm allergic to this cream that hasn't been tested on animals you know body shop mm -hmm. because there's obviously something going on Even rings that usually um, come off easily are not. My fingers are thicker. So I don't know what could be causing that. Who knows? Um, my son will be picking me up presumably shortly after. Is there some sort of indication? Nobody's talking to me yet. That ugly bin is going to be gone tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow, Monday. It's going, 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 gone. And I'll be able to pull in closer, at least, to my car park, if not all the way in my car park, because there's stuff parked in my car park, stored. So I'll be able to use more of my driveway, which is nice. It's still a two car wide driveway. <clears throat> We've always been able to park two cars in the driveway, so it's not a problem in terms of width. As long as you know you stay to your side, the other way the car stays to their its side, you're good. But um, you know, it's basically nice to just pull in. I'll probably start on the uh, afternoon class as soon as I finish my coffee. My afternoon class. <clears throat> I'll get started on that. And when that's done, I'll have a four day week, it'll be nice. Then we'll be aiming for next holiday, May 2-4. I think my sister is coming up for that. 
she had intended to come up for um, Easter, but things got too busy, I think, and she uh, <clears throat> wasn't able to uh, make it. It's okay. It's it's too soon. Yes, so I was talking with all my cousins yesterday. It was nice. Regina and Christina. Variously. Texting with one, talking on the phone with the other. That was kind of nice. I was listening to the radio over my late breakfast and uh, then I was reading the Globe and Mail, the weekend Globe and Mail, and uh, I saw an article in there about addiction to digital media, about Facebook and all this stuff about how we are changing, altering our minds all this digital stuff <clears throat> and how people are getting addicted to it and I saw their logic and I saw their explanation of all this and I went yeah that does not apply to me I am not addicted to my phone I uh, I'm not I mean my computer yes I have been working on a Macintosh since 1984, okay? Yeah. So that's been an integral part of my life. I have made my, I've made money off my computer, what I produce there ever since. So this is a part of my life, yes. But that I'm addicted to this? No. Nah. No. Nah. Because there are so many other things to do. Why would you just stand in front of this screen or look down at a screen and, you know, a book. I can look down at a book and I'll be totally lost in a book. I am addicted to books, yes, but not to digital, which is, you know, basically the same thing, the only different. Yeah, we all have our addictions. But you don't have to be, you don't have to be addicted. We all have our pleasures, let's say. You don't have to make them addictions. I'm not addicted to food. I'm not addicted to alcohol. I'm not addicted to drugs. I'm not addicted to smoking. I'm not addicted to anything. No. Think that addiction is healthy so no matter what you're addicted to try and do without it for a while yeah because it can kill you if you uh, do it too hard Christmas next year, I'm going to ask for a lava lamp, the big one. That's what I wanted to get this, this past Christmas myself, and uh, I didn't realize where the big ones were. I think I have an idea where the big ones were, are now, so maybe I'll buy myself that next Christmas. Just like this Christmas. I have two lava lamps. Two level lamps. That one, which is one I've seen more often in other places, and my old one, it's in the bedroom. I have a bedroom lab lamp and a living room 
Okay. I think it's going to be a nice day. A nice day, but a quiet Easter. I don't think that we're going to be doing any Easter egg painting. Because I haven't boiled any eggs. And everyone's busy. And we're not in the mood. o'clock. <clears throat> 10 o'clock and I've already done all my stuff. Ah, uh, yes. Have a good day.